Alexandria. Hello, Mother. It's been a while. Not long enough for you to forget that I asked you to call me Alex. What do you want, Alexandria? I have wonderful news I wanted to share with you. Dazzle me. Mother, I know you were disappointed when I left home, but I wanted you to know that two weeks ago I found a job and I just got my first paycheck. Explain to me how this is wonderful news. Well, I'm being independent. You and Father thought I couldn't make it on my own, but I am. I just... I thought you might find it in your heart to be proud of me. Proud? And what exactly should I be proud of? That my well-educated, society darling daughter is thrown away a life of privilege so that she can run off to do heaven knows what just to prove that she's independent? Yes, child, I am proud. Look, I don't expect you to understand why I had to do this. I just, I wanted you to know that I can take care of myself now. I don't need you or your money anymore. Always were ungrateful. <laughs> I called my mom today. I imagine that went well. You want to talk about it? Not really. Long story short, I cut myself off. But it's fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, you will. The worst is behind you. <laughs> so, in the spirit of not talking about it, what else did you do today? Well, I got paid today. A paycheck I actually earned. Feels pretty good, right? Definitely. But actually, that wasn't even the best thing that happened today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I stopped to get gas this what? afternoon, and what? there was this homeless the dude, hell? so I just, I <laughs> went over to him and... Turn on the news. Your work is on fire. Fire. What? No, turn it on. There's some guy. Alex? The indigent man said that he burned down the business that fired him just a little over two weeks ago. He purchased 10 gallons of gasoline from this gas station. The man who recently became homeless due to losing his job said that this afternoon he received money from a stranger who reportedly encouraged him to, quote, take charge of his life. After that, his plan became clear. The man is now in custody, and police are working to find the woman responsible for this grotesque act of savagery against capitalism and the American life. Up next, the 1950s, okay? Hot or Not, 
we peer inside the odd brazier architecture of a bygone age. Alex? I'm gonna have to call you back. Hello? Mom? Thank you.